Purple Heart is the first medal that was ever uh, given, and it was given by the Commander-in-Chief George Washington. It was called a badge of merit, and you had to be wounded in combat in order to receive it. And that took place up to about 19, 1940s. They started calling it the Purple Heart. I met John Bell most probably four or five years ago, and uh, I'm the state legislative officer for one of the uh, organizations. And so it's my job to introduce legislation uh, for veterans. When I met John, uh, we were talking, and right away he explained to me uh, he had gone to West Point, and uh, he did the silly thing of uh, jumping out of planes. You know, to me, to jump out of a plane doesn't make a whole lot of sense, okay? But then again, I was a 19-year-old guy that uh, got in a fiberglass boat thinking that it could stop bullets too. And so in the, in the service, you, you pick at other service members. If you're in the Navy, you might pick at the Marines. The Marines might pick at the Army, you know, that type of thing. And so John, John being quick-witted the way he is, uh, right away, you know, he said, he said something to me about, about the Navy. You know, he says, I, I think, uh, you know, what are you doing? riding around in a boat or something. It was something off the wall, you know. And I looked at him and I said, John, I said, you know, it doesn't take a very bright person to jump out of a plane, you know. And he just laughed. But right there, we had a, a mutual understanding that we have to do things sometimes that other people won't do. It's what's called, it, our, our nation calls on us to do these things. Uh, John understands that the reason we did these things is to provide other people the right to vote, other people the right to have freedom of speech. Uh, I'm sitting in a park today. I can I can feel assured that my children and your children come here and play safely. Because other parts of the world, they can't do that. If you're a corpsman or a medic in the military, you have to have two two and a half years of training. When you come back home and you get out the military and you go back, you have to go back to school and start from ground zero. It makes no sense to me. These guys are trained, they deal with things that nurses would never face. And so I went to John Bell and I said, John, I said, these guys and girls and ladies now are receiving two and a half years of training. When they come out, they should be able to take an equivalency exam and if they pass the test, they should be a licensed practical nurse and on their way to become an RN or medical. Truck drivers, we've got guys that are driving all over Iraq, Afghanistan. When they was coming back, they were having to go in and get their CDL, spending six months for something they've been doing two years. Made no sense to me. Made no sense to John and that was the first bill that we put together. If they had the qualifications, they could take an entry exam, pass the exam, and then move right into the work field. In the nursing home situ situation, you have stars. If you have five stars, you have a perfect war home or a perfect nursing home. The majority of our nursing homes in the state have one star. All of our war homes have five stars. That means our veterans get top-notch care. And what he did, what John did, was he introduced legislation to open that up to all veterans, not just combat-wounded veterans. Because we had war homes that were sitting with beds empty, and we had veterans that were homeless. So we're allowing homeless veterans also to go into the war home now. That's very important to get them, get them the assistance they need, get them back on their feet, get them the treatment they need. We passed another bill also, it was vet biz. Uh, a lot of guys that come back that, are, that aren't able to uh, work well with other people, post-traumatic stress, a lot of times you're anxious, very anxious. Doesn't mean you can't work, but you might want to work alone. And so we tried to give them an opportunity for small business loans so they could start their own businesses. The uh, SCORE program is very important to help, it puts young men and young women together with people that have retired 
and they've been successful in the business and they can help other veterans start their own businesses. That's called Vet Biz and it's a program that was put together and uh, it's already it's in place and it's important. Uh, I've said this many many times uh, um, for me uh, I want a veteran supporting me because only one percent of our country actually serves in the military. Of that one percent, a very small percentage are wounded. But I've told ladies before, we've, we've had conversations about uh, being a veteran, being wounded. And it's so ex hard to explain uh, what being a veteran is if, you're not, if you've never been a veteran. So I used an analogy, and the analogy was I was talking to a lady one time. She asked me, she said, what is it like to be wounded? And I said, well, I said, do you have children? And she says, yes, I do. I said, has your husband ever said to you, I know what it is to have children? And she says, yeah. I said, does he know what it is to have children? And she laughed. I said, unless you had a child, you don't know what it is to have a child. Unless you've been a service person in the military and served, you don't know what it is to be a veteran. John understands. It's, it's more than just talk, it's walk. And I'll say this, John's the only one running for governor that is a veteran. And so he, he, des he deserves my respect. He's earned his respect. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm voting for John Bell Edwards.